Hello, my name is Andy Johnson. I'm at Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota. Today I'd like to take a little bit of time and show you our 2012 Sanibel 3400. Tons of features on this. First thing I want to point out, beautiful high glass on this fifth wheel. Nice power awning and it's a nice long power awning. Another feature since you're panning over there is there's uh, toppers on top of the slide. Really nice feature to have. And then right here, you've got your TV right outside, CD, you got outside speaker, CD, DVD player right there. Really nice feature to have. As we keep going, as you can see, we've got tons of storage in here. Nice to have these tie downs to tie some heavy objects down so they don't move around. One thing that I really like about this camper is the attention to detail. Right over there, if you look, you got your uh, hanging racks for your fishing rods already. Nice feature to have. It's also good to see all that aluminum construction. Lights, obviously. Then you got slam latch baggage doors. Nice thing about that is when I close it, you just close it. You don't have to play with the little game with the twisty latches. Another thing I want to point out to you is what they do is they put magnetic catches up here. So all you do is you put it up and you go right to work. You don't have to be playing that little game where it's getting blown around by the wind. And then when you shut it, you just slam it, it's done. Real nice feature. You also have power right out here. Nice feature to have. Three steps in and then you've got uh, Equiflex suspension and you've got the aluminum rims with the big tires. Okay. Now as we keep moving around, we'll go around the big slide. As we come over here, come to another feature. It's got power jacks in the front, obviously, and power jacks in the back. You just push a button and the jacks go down. Real nice feature to have. Makes everything easy. Okay, now we've got the cap in the back. Has a beautiful look to it. Nice ladder. One thing I want to point out, it's a little unusual. You've got a nice big hitch right here, already on from the factory. Very nice feature to have. One thing I want to point out to you is if you just scan up there to the corner, you've got gutters and then you've got downspouts up there. And what that does, it's dripping right now because we just washed it. Um, what that does is it keeps the dirt off the side of your camper and makes it look clean. Then you've got another slide. And here's the back of that fridge, that big four-door fridge that we're going to see in a minute. Okay, here's where your waste comes out right here and I'll show you where the poles are in just a second. Here's your 10 gallon water heater right here. Okay, one thing I want to point out to you right here is you've got your poles for your waste right here and it's in a heated compartment. So when you're staying somewhere and it starts getting colder and colder, it's a nice feature to have. You've got a, hot and, you've got a shower right there with hot and cold water, a battery disconnect, um, and you also have a black tank flush in there. Nice features to have, especially uh, in the colder climates. And you got two 30 pound propane tanks. Then you got your big bedroom slide right there. Plenty of storage up front. And then you got a nice ABS hitch cover. I want you to take a minute and look at the front of this thing. It's very aerodynamic and it's carved out for your short box truck. Number one in turning radius right here. And so what we will do is now we'll go inside and show you the interior. As you notice as you come in there's a light underneath and then there's rope lighting right here as well. Just nice little features. We'll start with the kitchen. Lots of storage. Beautiful wood. Four door fridge and freezer. 12 cubic foot fridge instead of an 8. Great storage. Full extension, metal door glides. Storage just keeps coming. Nice thing they do, I always thought this was nice. They give you a book right from the factory showing you where all the campgrounds and RV sites are. Just a nice feature. More storage, more storage, and then solid surface countertops. Okay. Beautiful residential faucets. Look at that big sink. Beautiful sink. You could wash a baby in that sink. Oh, not in trouble. Okay. And put this down. And this is a nice little appliance garage right here. More storage. One thing I want to point out is right above those lights 
it really sets it off to have that decoration right there. Okay, nice storage, nice pantry. Okay, and then Frigidaire microwave right there, and that's a convection one. And then you've got the stove and stove top, and more storage, full extension. And then this whole bar has got storage underneath it. Nice spot for a garbage can. Very nice kitchen. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll just keep moving. And we come to the couch. Very residential looking couch. Pull this out. Storage right there for bedding or for other things. Okay, LED lighting. I can put my hand right on these bulbs. They're very efficient. They're very bright. And they're uh, not hot at all. More storage all the way across the top here. Okay, now as we go to the back, my favorite thing right here, electric fireplace. If you go somewhere and you have free power, you now have free heat. And so that's a nice feature and it gives it, a ni gives it some ambience. Now we've got storage on both sides. You've got your D Sony DVD player right there. Nice feature to have. And then you've got your big TV right here. A 42 inch. Uh, you've got surround sound speakers and these are Sony's all the way across the back and Sony's up on the ceiling. Now as we keep going, we've got two recliners right here and very comfortable chairs, LED lighting above them again, and then more storage. Plenty of storage. Nice big windows. Storage right there in each chair. One thing I want to point out right here is, let me just see. The leaf for this table stores right here big deal but it's nice because it's safe and it's got its little spot just like it should and then there's you can put cards in here you can keep your silverware in here just another nice feature okay as we keep going forward one thing I don't want to miss right here is your central vac nice to have that then you don't have to bring a vacuum cleaner okay as you come in the door push a button you got your power awning right there push a button you got all your slide controls right there basically it's kind of the the nervous center of this camper right there and it's all protected. As we keep going up the steps are lit and what we'll do is we'll go in the bathroom here. Okay nice porcelain toilet, high-rise toilet, plenty of room for your knees, storage right up above it, and then you've got your big shower, nice big shower, that's the honeymoon shower there. Plenty of space in there and then you've got storage then you've got your sink and your big medicine cabinet. Very private, well done bathroom. Okay. A couple things I want to point out in the bedroom. Very roomy bedroom, plenty of storage up here. One thing I want to point out while we're here is this camper has two air conditioners. But what really impresses me about this camper is the air conditioner doesn't come through. They've got vents going to it, and so it's quieter, and it's also more efficient. And it's that same way in the living room as well. The TV is right mounted right up against the wall like it's supposed to be. Solid surface countertop in here as well. And lots of drawers, lots of drawers. Okay, we've got a memory foam bed. It's about the most comfortable uh, camper bed I've ever sat on. And now what we'll do is we'll open this for, to see that storage underneath. There is, a, there is a window on each side of the bed. And then there's lots of storage right there. Okay, now let's go up front. What I want to show you about this closet is it's practically a walk-in closet. You come in here, look at these big drawers. And you got four of them. You also have more storage right there. It's lit in here, obviously. And the sliding glass doors are very nice. You also have a hookup for your washer dryer if you choose to put a washer dryer in there. And one thing that I've always liked about this camper, it's got the normal um, mirrored doors here. Okay. But I've always been impressed how this opens up as well. What it does, instead of just being a little door that opens up, it gives you full use of the space. So you got a drawer there, you could keep your laundry detergent and everything in there. And then we can put a washer dryer right in there, or you can just use this for hanging clothes. 
As you can tell, this is uh, a Cadillac of fifth wheels. This is the Santa Bell 3400, made by Primetime, and we have it at Bullion RV. If you have any questions about this fifth wheel or any of our other inventory, please call me, Andy Johnson, at 218-391-ANDY. Thank you and have a great day.